speak to you now. I wanna wake up with you. <laughs> oh my god have you ever in your life guys i don't know if you can see <laughs> yes baby i've started the vlog <laughs> hi guys <laughs> so guys um uh what i don't know how to say yes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That I'm only like four dogs. Me too. <laughs> oh, so what is the vlog about, my love? Okay, I'll tell them. But yeah. for now, you know, guys, um, I'm unemployed at the moment, and my husband goes to work. I'm tired of staying in the house. Yes, we need really fresh air. Yes. So now we are having a walk here. Yeah. Yes. And we decided to do this video from this park here. I always see people on Instagram. People abroad. Uh, on Instagram showing us oh autumn autumn things now I'm the one showing you autumn things but is it is, isn't it supposed to be sunny um this time now this four past uh, but it's 4 p.m. Sun, sunset is 4 30 p.m. yeah there the was UK. sun but now it's not there anymore she's well, getting familiar with the autumn with its cold and its beauty you know we don't have these seasons in Kenya. We only have oh, do we have we only have hot hot rainy and cold season in Kenya. Here in UK or in Europe, you have spring. I'm talking. I want them to see me. <laughs> this no. is your first time ever experiencing <laughs> this. I want to hug it. <laughs> but guys, I can't wait for winter. I want to see snow so badly. Oh like my it's god. My dream. <gasps> you will you will be freezing. You will be amazed, but in the same time you will a little bit hate it. Ah, it's something that I have been wanting to see. You know, it's something new to me. I only see it on TV. Now seeing it in real life it would be exciting for the first time. Imagine when you enter into a cold room. Without walls. Like now? Cold like now? No. Mm. This is not cold. I can I can walk in t-shirt or even in jumper mm. without feeling cold. But you, you are the feeling freezingly, and uh, yeah, my hands are cold. I need. Let gloves. me just let me just tell you an interesting fact. Now we have twelve Celsius, mm -hmm. which you might experience it in Kenya. Sometimes, very rarely, uh -huh. but this is just a very good weather. This is good? Very good. This is good? <laughs> when, it's, <laughs> when it's cold, when it's cold, especially in Hungary, in my country, in January, when it's wet, when, it, when, it, when it's snowing, mm -hmm. minus 20. Minus... <gasps> <laughs> Your nose... Your nazas will be frozen. My mustache, my eyebrows will be frozen. Yeah, I saw you one time and your, with frozen eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and your and your your forehead. If you don't cover, it will be frozen. Oh wow. Like only your eyes can be out. You need to wear gloves all the time. Yeah. It's extreme. Okay. Baby, take a photo of me here with this tree. I want to feel Yeah guys, I need to tell you one of the most important jobs of a husband is to be the wife's personal photographer and videographer. And <laughs> she enjoys a lot. Okay. So we want to share with you some of our plans. Uh, now that I'm here in the UK, like what's next? You know, landing is one thing, settling in is another thing. So not only obvious plans which is required for the life in the UK, not personal plans, <laughs> yeah, which is premature yet. Yes, yes, yes. I wanted to sit here. Yes, we wanted to sit every, any, any we available sit. bench. Oh, it's ah, wet, it's, it's wet. wet. Now we it's have to stand. Draining. The first thing I did when I landed in the UK, we went to pick up my BRP. Yes, yes which is a biometric, biometric residence permit. This is your permit to live in the UK. 
Yes, so I landed I landed and we went to pick it up like two days later because you have a time limit to go and pick it up. It's first things first before I even settle is to go get my BRP. BR, BRP. What does it mean? Biometric residence permit. Right now we are heading to the post office uh, to go see if it's there. So I received an email. Actually, the, the day after I got, I collected my passport, the next day, I received an email. The next day. <laughs> I received an email on um, when to collect or how to collect that BRP. So that is the agenda of today. So let's go and see if that card is there. Um, guys, I have my... Hold on. Oh my god, how can I cover? You need cover. Look at that. You need this cover. Is... So this is your BRP. Yes, this is fast. Oh my god. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, really. Thank you. Oh my god. Let me put it back. Okay. And then I keep it safe. <laughs> So this is I don't need to be walking around with my passport. Not really. This is this is good now. <laughs> yes. So after that, the next important document I need to have is an NI number. Yes. National insurance number. That is like the KRA pin in Kenya, the tax pin. So when I start working, uh, that is the number that the my employer will require so that I can be able to pay tax. I picked up my BRP, I have my NI number, and also you need to register me to the doctor. Yeah. Why? Why do I need to be to, to, have a, to have a doctor? Is it to have a doctor or what does it, what does it mean? Do you have a doctor in Kenya? No. I just go to any hospital randomly and, randomly and I get treated. You need to have your own GP, general practice, and you need to have your own pharmacy as well where you receive the prescriptions which you are ordering online it's a general practice like it's a it's a practice office like when i get sick that is where i go to specifically yes it's not one person it's one building one medical center the good side that you are paying tax you're paying ni as well ni the national insurance uh -huh. when you get sick when you do when you when you need to go and visit the doctor, it is included. Mm -hmm. You don't pay fees to the doctor. You don't pay the total amount of the medicine, unless it is a special one. So it is cheaper to get medical care? Much, much cheaper. Almost free. Ooh. We need to get to get me registered to a GP here. Yes. And also, so we have said BRP, NI, GP. What else? Ah, I need a UK phone number. Which already I already have, by the way. How did you do it? I just ordered a card and online. Yeah, and I registered. And it was brought via post. It's yes. so different in Kenya because in Kenya you go to the to the physical shops of the mobile service you provider. You can get you can get physical shops as well, but it was most easiest because I included the package. Mm. Is a monthly package what I included in? I bought on my name. With my own mm. bank card, so we just mm. they they brought it in the letter box, and that's it. And yes. now you get your so personal in Kenya, card. You remember when you came to Kenya, we had to go to a mobile service provider store and you had to register there. Mm. So here we have the option of registering online, and the card was brought to the house via yes. post. So they just came and dropped in the letter. Oh, that's cute, and also, my oh, I need a bank bank account yes. that is generally like the uh, starter pack for living in the UK I'm in an English speaking country thank God thank God I don't need to learn any language to be in this country this being an English speaking country there's nothing keeping me at home I need to start looking for work as soon as possible because actually there's nothing at all that is keeping me at home if you are not choosy you can have a job and yes. if you already have a job, you can just level up your life, your lifestyle, um, extend your CV, 
and upgrade yourself yeah. from the very, very bottom to the top. Because none of the big guys started on the top. That's what everyone should understand. I see a lot of people on TikTok and online saying that here in London, uh, the more you work, the more money you get. So it's called a working city. Yeah. It's a working city. That's no. why it's, it's so, like, London is so busy. Everyone is working so fast. <laughs> like, L- things are moving. Built. London has built for workers. For workers, workers yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So, like, it's so busy. Like, people, everyone is minding their own business. They are so busy. So, uh, because it's getting so dark, we are trying to rush this video. Uh, yeah, die, I already maybe. have my CV in place and I'm applying for jobs. When I get a job, I don't know if I'll tell you guys, but, yeah, I'll tell you guys when I get a job. But there are some jobs I'm looking at as of now. And I, I want to start working as soon as possible, as I told you, before we start having a family. Uh, when I was back in Kenya, my husband was living as the true bachelor in London. So he was living in a furnished apartment. Uh, we sat down and we thought it's wise for us to buy our own household stuff. So when I was preparing to come to the UK, he also moved from his... That's a dream. He moved from his furnished apartment and uh, went to an unfurnished apartment. So right now we are living in an empty house. So the next we got what I had before. He only uh, we bought dish, dishes, some, some, yeah. just a few stuff. So now we are starting from scratch as a couple. I- we are cold. <laughs> yeah, we want to buy furniture from scratch. And like we, we want to buy gloves for you because you <laughs> <Yeah>. are cold. <laughs> we want to buy furniture from scratch. Oh my God. Can I be seen? You guys, can you see me? It's, it's so dark. I can see you. You see me? Yeah, we want to buy furniture from scratch and from scratch and we furnish our house. From scratch, I mean from the bed to the couch, living room, essentials, like everything. We are in an empty house. And in the UK, furniture is so expensive. Jesus. What time is it right now? It's five and it's this dark. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we are... During this 16 minutes video, it became so dark. It's dark, And we yeah. started in light. Yeah, yeah. So, we, want, we are planning to furnish our house, but you're not going to do everything all at once. We have to be financially wise. Yes. Because, you know, we are just starting life and we are preparing to start a family. So, we need mm. to, like... Uh, be wise with finances set up the foundation so yes. later we won't struggle if we make a mistake yes we have other yeah. plans for our lives so we have to prioritize now this is the time to save up when we are just the two of us yeah. so we we will start furnishing our house so i don't expect people to start like um, you know there's some these negative people saying you don't have this you don't have that we are doing things slowly at our own pace we don't need someone else to start putting pressure on us so we want to furnish our house and we'll do that bit by bit because yes. buying household especially furniture here in the uk It is like buying land in Kenya, guys. I'm telling you. But if you're watching this video and you're from the UK, please plug me to furniture places. You know where I can you can get good stuff, good quality stuff at uh, good prices, so that we furnish our house step by step. And we are excited to take you guys along with us while we furnish our house from scratch to up to the time we will have the house full. And also, by the way, this house he moved into. We're just here for a few months, maybe until April. Mm-hmm. For for now, what you're yes. looking at, uh, there are some reasons. There's, there's a reason why we are here for a, tem- a short time. I wish you could have stayed longer, but uh, unfortunately, it has to be for a short time <laughs> because it's already dark at 5 p.m. It's really shocking. This is one culture shock that I'm already experiencing in the UK. But uh, it's just the season. It's just the season. Yeah, during summer. It is bright till, until nine. ten. <gasps> so we are going to the supermarket to buy a few stuff. Yes. What are you doing, babe? I'm going to copy a key for you, my love. This is how it works, like guys. What? Um. Key cutting in Kenya is way different. So you touch screen. He's getting a key for me. <laughs> Wow! So you put it in like that? Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then you close. Mm -hmm. Close. 
Next. Next. Scanning your key. Oh wow, this is amazing. Yes. Scanning complete. Now what you next? Your key. Uh huh. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Yeah. Buy two, get two or three. Should I? No. No. Two is enough. Scanning your key. Payment. Card. Cash. Mm-hmm. Being a successful here we go. Uh-huh. It's cutting. Wow, this is amazing. Wow. Okay, what we're doing here, he's uh, getting a key copy. Key copy? Yes. For me, for the house. And in Kenya, it's way different. You take it to a person and they do it here. We, they use these machines. And it's amazing. I've never seen this. I never thought this existed. This is amazing. Let's see how the key will come out. Our key is there. They gave us two keys. Yes. Well, they, you processed two keys. Let me see. No, I only processed one, but they gave us two. Ooh. This is someone else's key. Looks like an old one. No? Hmm? So have no ears so hard. Amazing. I will give you a flip flop. Uh, you even give me a flip flop. Yes. Oh, you know what? Do you saw this out there? Yes. Is your house still my love? I'm officially your roommate. <laughs> <laughs>